Hello everyone and welcome to episode 16 of D&D. I'm Mike. And Zoe. And you're supposed to say and I'm Zoe. And I'm Zoe. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and today we are going to uh, continue working on our game and what we were doing last time was cards. And cards. We, yes, mm-hmm. cards. And we are going to start texturing the cards. We're not going to do anything too fancy, right? We're going to make it fairly simple. But we're still going to show our process. This now, is not a game we're going to sell, after all. Well, yeah, clearly. <laughs> but, you know. Look at how bad it looks. How bad it looks. It looks all right. It looks all right, though. Yeah, so it looks all just right. Don't slag it, poor game. All right, so let's go. It looks go. like Brand- Blender's not safe. Sure, because I moved the camera. Oh. All right, so let's go to Blender and quickly recap what our situation is. So we've got the deck, which is this thing, and the cards, which are this thing. And... Uh, uh, we are just basically going to make a card appear at the top of the deck every time we're drawing one and uh, uh, It's gonna be up uh, like facing down and then we're gonna turn it around and reveal what it is mm-hmm. Okay, so um, Now uh, let's take a look at how we've UV unwrapped this stuff, right? So the deck only has a top it doesn't have a bottom because it doesn't need it and the mm-hmm. top as you can Wait, see, we're gonna reveal what stop it is? smacking the microphone what? Wait, we're gonna reveal what it is. So what are we gonna reveal? What it is? So we're gonna reveal what the card is. No banana. This is the 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 top of the deck is going to be the back of the card. Mm. Okay, okay, so it's occupying half of the room for our UVs here, and these sides are all occupying the left side. Okay, mm-hmm. so when we use a texture, we're gonna use this to texture sort of like the stacked cards. So we're just gonna put like vertical black lines, I mm-hmm. think. Now what about the top of the deck? And the top of the deck is going to be the back of the card. Mm -hmm. So then when we go to the card, the card instead has a front right here. And as you can see, it's mapped to the left. And what are we going to put on the front? I don't know. (laughs) And the rare, and the rare, which is the back of the card. And it's exactly the same mapping as the other one. So let's go and make this happen. We don't actually need to export any UVs from here and put them into GIMP because we already know how stuff is going to look like. So we're going to use the new version of GIMP. There it is. So let's go ahead and create a new file. By the way, are these textures? Yes. Better let's, not smack the microphone. That's, uh, so we're going to create a new file and it's not going to be this width because it's weird. We are going to give it a much smaller width because we're going to need quite a few. And we're not going to create an intelligent shader in this case. We're just going to use the basic standard shader for now. Okay. And so we're going to make it, say, 256 by 256, right? Always a square and always a power of two. Mm-hmm. Okay, so bam, we have it ready. It's got a background. That's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our grid. So let's go to image, configure grid. And the first thing that we will do is I think we should like split it in four or something. So let's do 64 by 64. Give it a very visible color like red and hit OK. Now the grid is still not visible because you need to go show grid. view, show grid. And now it's visible. Mm-hmm. And we're going to add some more stuff. We're going to say snap to grid and snap to canvas edges all under view. Now if we go here and we click, you see that it's all lovely snapping and everything like that. So if you guys remember, on the right side, we got the back of the card. Mm-hmm. And on this side, we've got uh, either the front of the card or the side of the card. So let's begin by base cre- creating a new layer. Okay, mm-hmm. so we got new layer ready. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, draw the back of a card. So how should the back of a card look like, more or less? Well, like it's got like a square thing around it. All right, so like a border. So we should put a border, you say? Yes. All right, well, I'll show you a few tricks. Okay. So let's make the size of the brush quite small, say like three. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Let's undo this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the box selection and select this half of the... Um, Isn't that the wrong half? No, that's the back half. Oh. And now we're going to go to select and we're going to go to shrink. And we're going to shrink it by a few pixels. Let's say five. Now that we shrunk it like this, we can say edit and we can say stroke selection. And we can say with a paintbrush and go stroke. That's a nice border. It's a nice and tidy border. So let's begin by exporting this as a, as a starting point. So hit Control Shift T. 
and we are gonna go to recently used. I think it's gonna be textures. Yes. So that's where we were. We don't need it to be PNG. It's gonna be a J JPG. So let's call this one uh, deck dot JPG. Deck dot JPG. JPG. G. G. Hit enter. Yeah, enter. Okay, so it's exported this, right? So let's go now to Unity and let's take a look at our material. So first of all, on our board we have a card. We're gonna move that card on the side so it's out of the way, okay? Kay. And let's look at our deck. So our deck is a deck material. Let's change this texture to the deck texture. And as you can see, the square that we've just created is here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, right? Now let's create the sides. Now remember how the sides are supposed to be many cards stacked together. Mm -hmm. right? So lines, lines, That's lines. right. We're just going to do a line and then we're going to duplicate it several times. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to GIMP. And now we're going to create a new layer. Okay. And this one, we are going to select the brush again. And this time we're going to go maybe size 2. And we're going to go all the way here to the top and the side and we're gonna run it all the way down like this then we're gonna go here at the top here and the side and run it down there it is okay mm -hmm. and now we're gonna go and do one here in the middle and now that we've done this one in the middle what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the one in the middle well first of all we need to remember to delete this because otherwise it's gonna look weird because it's gonna touch the back of the card I mean if we want to put a border there we can do it later maybe Okay, so I'm going to delete that bit so we only have this half and very precisely only that half. Now I'm going to zoom out, copy all of this, paste, and now that it's here, I'm going to move it to the right by a couple of pixels. Paste again, move it to the right, paste again, move it to the right, paste again, move it to the right, and so on. I'll repeat this a few times. Can I do it? Huh? Can I do it? Yeah, of course, but let's do more. Okay, so there. And now How you many? use the right arrow until you get far enough, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now press Ctrl V again. Okay, now use the left arrow to go on the other side. Okay, press Ctrl V again. Okay, enough. Now, enough. Oops, sorry. Undo. Okay, so the issue that we have here is that I wasn't too, I didn't have good foresight. So now we have pretty bad spacing. So let's cut all of this with Control X, Control V, and now we're going to move it to the left until it touches there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create single individual lines. But now we need to figure out where to hit them. Okay, and that's not that obvious. Whoa, I've zoomed out. I've zoomed. I'm breaking everything. Okay, <laughs> here. So let's try here. No, Whoa. That doesn't look the, the same cross at all. One. Okay, so that's not helping. So what we're gonna do is, if you remember, the one in the center was allowing us to do that perfectly. So we're gonna zoom out more. We're gonna open a new layer, go to the center as we did before, and drag it down. Boop. So let's see how this looks like. Yes, this looks correct, right? So now we're going to cut this one and paste it, drag it here. Okay, paste it again. Here, paste it again, here, paste it again, and again, 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 and again. Okay, so this looks a bit odd, Nine but it's... Ten? No, I think we're fine just like this. I mean, it's not perfect, but we'll live with it, okay? Mm -hmm. So now let's merge this down. So now this layer only has this. Now hit Control e to export right away. Control e Yeah. And this should go right here there they are i don't see them what do you mean look at them. oh now i see it doesn't look too bad right maybe we mm -hmm. should make them a little darker so let's uh do it again so to do that simply take this and you go let's try colors brightness and contrast and let's increase the contrast there not bad right let's not exaggerate but you know mm -hmm. there we go okay whoa hey why did that not work 
the new version of GIMP is giving me weird stuff. I must have not. Huh? Maybe you need to press OK. You did, right? I thought so. I mean, enter. Huh. Help. No, I'm, we're not it's doing that. Uh, okay, so let. Uh. Bugs. I think so. I don't know what's going on. So just copy everything and paste it. Paste it. Okay, that that did more or less what we wanted. That's not nice that we can't rely on that though. Hit Control E to export. Did you hit Control E or Control W? Hit Control E. Okay. Now, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Okay, so let's add that sort of mild border that I said we wanted to. I wasn't sure about adding it. Let's add it now. And what we're going to do is you're going to help me now. You're going to hold the shift key when the time comes. So shift, tell me when. Yes, madam. Hold shift. Keep on holding it. Oh, sorry. There we go. Release. So I've added that border and now I'm going to delete the left side. So you'll see that when I remove this, you see the card only has the border and then the inner border as we've designed it. Okay, so control E to uh, export again. And back we go to Unity and that's how it looks like. Mm -hmm. See, it's softened it up. Softened it up a little bit. Not bad. Okay, now let's put a pattern on the back of the card. In the front of the card, you mean? No, the oh, back wait, of the, the card. Back. These are the back of the card. So <laughs> what we're going to do here is we are going to just write something like card racing, right? That's what we called it. But we should give it a clever name. Let's think this through. So it's a tabletop car racing. Mm -hmm. So what should we call it? Top Gear. Because <laughs> yeah. it's on the tabletop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tabletop Gear. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Done. Tabletop Done. Gear. He's called the Stig. <laughs> All right. So Tabletop Gear. For those in the audience who do not know, I am a massive petrol head. So... What does that mean? I really like cars. That's what yeah, it means. And, and you listen to Top Gear a lot. Yes. I like to. I like to... Listen to, to the British version of Top Gear, because it's the only good one. Ooh, well, the Australians are pretty decent as well. All right, so what what did you say? Table, Top Ooh, Gear, table go. Table, Top Gear. Table. Just, yeah, just, just write it, just don't worry about it. Table, Top, top gear. 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 All right. Exit. Hit Control A to select all. Brrr. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Table, Top Gear. Let's separate yeah. these words. Right, we're doing human language now. And let's also change the font to something... Better. <laughs> better. What is this? Ah, this hurts. No uh, way. I, I have lots of uh, custom fonts that I've downloaded, so I may be using some that I do not have commercial right to use. We I have. apologize if I do. This is just for instruction purposes. So. Uh, Elephant. What is Ebrima? That's not too bad. It looks normal, though. It looks normal. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Glockenspiel. Do you want this one? Uh, not really. I wonder what Glockenspiel means. Is it a play that you do with a Glock 19? That'd be cool. Uh, Greek diner. <laughs> Ugh, ugliness. I don't know why I'm going with the letter G because reasons. Good times. How about this? Uh, okay. Look too bad. Okay, table top gear. What if we bold it? Yeah, probably better. Okay. So this is done. Now what we need to do is we need to arrange it and place it wherever we want to, etc. So I'm now going to merge it down and convert it to a visual, a graphic. So it's not text anymore. All right, so what we can do now is we can hold shift for me. Actually, let's increase the tolerance of this. Hold shift for me. So I'm selecting all of these letters. Now hit Control X to cut. Control X. Control V to paste. And now I'm going to move it about. So you see it's too big. So we're going to need to rotate this. Rotate? Yeah, we're going to put it like diagonal. Mm. So I'll put it here. Table, dog, gear. Where is my rotation tool? New 
new game is confusing me. Okay, I'm not sure that's such a hot idea also. Maybe it's just too big. Okay, okay. Let's undo all of this. Undo, 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 control Z. No, oh, what are you doing? Cancel. Control <laughs> Z. Okay. So what we're going to do instead of that, we're going to use the magic color selection tool. And we're going to select everything. And now we're going to rotate right away. Eh. Oh. Eh? Except you didn't do it. Mate, what are you doing? Now, first the... the, the, the I think the, I selected right. the exact opposite. I uh, selected everything else. Yeah, for some reason, the new GIMP, they've decided to make it all black and white, and I'm not sure who thought this is a good idea, because now all of the icons are, like, unrecognizable. <laughs> okay, so let's make this a little bit smaller. Anyway, so... Well, except this is not black and white. Yeah, no, I know, but th these tools, right, they used to have a color, and now they don't. And it's weird. I don't remember them with a color. Maybe I don't remember it. Maybe I've got okay, a very so bad remembrance. Reset. Okay. Whoop. This should do. Okay, scale. Now let's move it. See, more or less fits. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, but I want to do one word at a time. Way, it's very blurry. I know. Uh, this is a thing that happens with, um, with GIMP when you rotate. Because it's trying to approximate, I think. So let's see if we can uh, sharpen. Is there a sharpen? Where is sharpen? There used to be a sharpen thingy. And sharp mask? No, that would be the other way, I guess. I don't know. Let's try. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't see anything changing. So I'm not going to do that. Let's try. I'm almost sure that this one had sharpen somewhere. Sharp, but but this, it's a sharpen image. Where? By adding difference to blurred image. Yeah, but do you see any change? Because I don't. Maybe if you press OK. So if I go all the way to the top and go OK, eh? I don't see any difference whatsoever. Yeah. What's up with GIMP today? No, I don't think it's GIMP. I think that this, it may not work with alpha, for example, because right now there's only alpha on this, this particular layer. So could be that. I t tell you what, here's what we'll do. We'll uh, undo quite a lot. Okay, let's undo, 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 undo. There we go. So it's still a text, piece of text now. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it larger. Okay. And then we're going to shrink it after. I wonder, there's one thing that I don't think you can do in GIMP, which would be very nice. Centering things. I don't think you can do it. Bold, italic, underline, strike through. Yeah, you cannot, uh, you cannot, um, center things. It's gigantic. I know. I'm doing it on purpose so that then I can rotate it after. Okay, so let's try and merge this down again. Okay, so it's merged down. And now we need to rotate all of this. This looks like a very pixely font. I don't know what that means. Well, look, there's pixels all around. Uh, why we have like a very small file, Zoe. That's the problem. We have uh. a 250. Yeah, so it's already going blurry. Right. If we then start resizing it, it's going to look blurrier. I frankly don't know. There may be a way to do vector graphics with GIMP. I, I'm not familiar. I just don't know. So, yeah. So I think we're going to have to keep it. Uh, that's not too bad, right? It's already better than before. So cut this. Paste it. And let's move it right here. Huh? It goes a bit outside. I don't know that I mind. Do I? I think it's... Maybe there's a f smaller font. Yeah, well, I mean, we can make it even smaller, right? If we're going to make it smaller, though, I would think we should do it in one go. So, okay, no, wait. this is fine. And now we need to reselect everything, resize. And this time I'll be, I'll be smarter and I'll resize the other way so I can see if it fits in the card or not. There, now it does. There, this seems to be the right size. So hit scale. Okay, drag it down to about here, table, 
Now we're going to use the lasso selection to go here, here. Selecting top. Actually, let's select gear as well. Top gear. Yeah, and now I think you need to press the thing and now it will select. Okay, control X to cut. Control V to paste. Top gear and we're going to move it down here with the we're, wor we're worrying about the word gear to be about in the, being about in the middle. So again, last to select, let's grab the word top now. Okay. Control X to cut, Control V to paste. Thank you. And we're gonna put it right here in the middle. Table top gear. It looks Are you gonna credit top gear for this? Well no, obviously not. So I'm making table top gear. I'm not making top gear. Well you took the name from it. But it's not, it's, sure, it's just a homage, just don't worry about it. Okay. I think it's property of the BBC, by the way. Oh. Yeah, we would need to talk to the British government for this. Oh. Yeah, and I'd rather shoot myself than do that. So, there we go. The people on the internet probably just got angry. Why? <laughs> people who like governments. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's their problem. They're wrong. Uh, so, let's go to the brush. And let's see if we have anything. Oh, brilliant. What's that? <laughs> let's put oh. a pepper. Let's put, let's, put pe so let's put a pepper on the For real? <laughs> sure. Let's, come on, it's stupid. It's brilliant. There you go. Watch. There's a pepper. Tabletop pepper. <laughs> top gear pepper. Is there Why? More? Reasons. <laughs> oh. Should we make this even a little bit smaller? I don't know. <laughs> tabletop gear pepper. <laughs> hey man, tabletop gear pepper. It's uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's that's see if a bit smaller is a bit better. I I think it's revoltingly bad, but that's okay. It'll do. Uh, you know, the day in which I'm an artist is a is a is a scary day indeed. I've pasted it a couple of times. See if we can get rid of that blurriness a bit. Bloody yeah. blurriness. Yeah, it's not Pepper. too bad. <laughs> Pepper! Alright. <laughs> Hit Control E. That Pepper doesn't have anti aliasing on it. Nope. I pressed Control E. Did you? Yes, you said Control E. Okay. Well, it worked for me. Okay, tabletop gear. Now, as you can see, it's, it's upside, upside down. down. So, what we're going to do is it's really perfect. fairly easy. We're gonna go here. <laughs> we're gonna take our deck. Take this. Okay, hit A to unselect, A to select all. Now R to rotate, 180. Hit Control E. No, what am I doing? I'm a fool. Control S to save. I get confused save. between all of these software. And double tabletop gear. There yeah. it is. Lovely. Okay, now let's apply exactly the same texture to our card. Right, so the card. Now I know that the texture isn't exactly correct, so we're gonna see one side <laughs> being all bananas, right? But if the card is rotated on the Z axis and the B B B on the Y axis, there we go. Rotate, rotate, rotate. So this one is wrong upside down. Two. All right, this one's wrong too. Can we flip the card itself? Well, like sure, but this one is like all wrong. Like it's even mirrored. So we need to do quite a bit of work on our um, face here. So this is the face. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is the front face. The front face is on the left. So the, it's the bottom face we need to worry about at the moment. Mm -hmm. So um, the card's position is zero, zero, zero. I don't think it has a single rotation. That's perfect. Then we are applying the rotation. So this is now the back of the card. We need to rotate it by 180. So let's start with that. So rotate 180, save. Okay. Control S, enter. Done. Okay. Okay, so that's good. And now we need to mirror it. So how do we do that? Can we use math to help us? Can we? Of course we can. Hit S to resize. X on the X axis, minus one. A. I've reversed it. I forgot to save. 
you've reversed it, but you forgot to save. It's bad if you don't save. Come on. Table Top Gear. There we Pepper. go. Right? <laughs> so obviously, so the card will then appear like this, and it should look exactly the same. See, there's no difference, whatever. I mean, it's a bit rotated, but I don't care. We'll worry about that later. So that works. So this is the back of the card, right? Mm -hmm. And now for the front of the card. So let's re-rotate it to zero. There it is. Okay. Now for we this one, we need to completely material. change it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hide this. And I'm going to hit Control Shift E. And we're going to say card. So just change the word deck to card. So start typing deck card. card. Actually, that's not a great da, idea. Da, da, da. Cancel. Call it card underscore zero. Because we need many. Many textures today. Well, yeah, we're going to make a few, right? And then we can worry about making more. Okay, so there it is. So it's been uh, put in here. So we're going to go and change it to... Hey, let the audience see. To card zero. There it is. Now, as you can see, we got a problem. The side is going all nuts. Mental. Right? Uh, and I think as long as we can keep it all uh, gray or all black, I think we'll be fine. So we need to move those sides somewhere where they will stay black and where they don't get in the way of our card. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can do for that. You need to select the sides. So there are the sides. Hit hold, hold alt. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I may release. I may have selected. No, I've selected that 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 groove, that border. Okay, so let's it. just hold the shift, and I'm gonna do them one by one. Okay, so you see the problem is they're all here on a side. So there's a fairly easy fix we can do for this. The back of the card is on the right. So hold shift or just press B rather, press B. Yeah, and go G, X. Oh no, actually, I'm just gonna change its X over here. Easier, 128. Boop. Okay, save. So I've put it on the back. This means now that they, it should be all gray. That's, that's it. Okay, that looks good. And now we need the front of the card. So for the front of the card, I think we should have another border like these. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we should then put something inside it, mm -hmm. which is ideally not a pepper. <laughs> yes, mm. something more important than a pepper. Peppers are important, lady. <laughs> peppers are central. Okay. Peppers. So, let's copy all of this. Copy it. Copy the pepper. Paste it. Paste the pepper. It's not the pepper. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Hit Control E to export. And export the border. And now we got a border inside. That's and not too the bad. Pepper. Okay, and now we can put some kind of effect on the card. Maybe just. We could write some text in it. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, we could even... Um, Do it here. Yeah, like we could put a text object in here and put it on top of the card. I think that would make sense. And then we would say what a card does, right? So what normally you have in these types of games, right? You would have another little thing with a picture, right? So we're going to do it nominally in the sense that we're going to put something there just because. Actually, it's a bad idea that I've done it as a layer. So I'm going to now duplicate this layer. Okay, and I'm going to, on this layer, de delete the right side. And on the previous layer, I'm going to delete the left side. So if we need to re-export other things, we can. So I'm going to drag this layer all the way up. This can stay, we don't care. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to add another border. So we're going to select the square over here. We're going to go to select, shrink, and this time instead of 5 pixel, we're going to do 12. Okay? Yeah. And I think if you click it, you can actually move it. So I'm going to move it further down, just a little bit. Yeah, we're going to leave some room at the top for the name of the card. So the card's going to have a name. There. This, uh, I'm kind of tempted to shrink it a bit more. There, let's try this. And now let's go edit, stroke selection, and paintbrush stroke. Oh boy! Peppers! I forgot to change the, the brush. 
Teehee. Rush. Sorry, it was bad first. Back to no, this, no I think, is the original one. And I think the size we had was five. So again, we go to edit, stroke selection with the paintbrush. There we go. That's a real thing, not the peppers. A nice border. Okay. And now we're going to create a new layer underneath this one. And in here, we're going to put a picture. Uh, so... What? Yeah, that's a good question. So let's go <clears throat> on a, an internet browser. Hey, he can barely see. The the audience can't see I know, anything I'm just, right now. Oh, wait a moment. No, Deleting I'm, things, I'm so. not going to use this. I'm not going to use this browser. I'm going to use another browser that I never use. Google Chrome. Yes. So we got Chrome going right here. Look at it. Completely pristine. Never used. All right. So let's go to the Googles. Now, I normally don't use Google because I don't like it. But I will use Google this time around because Google has a great way of searching for images that aren't protected by copyright. Okay, so type the word car, hit enter. And now we're gonna go to images and now we're gonna go to tools and we're gonna say usage rights, labels for, for non-commercial reuse with modification or rather for reuse with modifications. So let's go there, okay. And uh, um, so type car and then icon. Let's see what we get. There, we got quite a few things. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's Press fine. basic. So. That's what? fine. So um, we could. Uh, let, so, first of all, we need to think about the design, right? Mm -hmm. So, we said we should uh, swap places with someone else. Mm -hmm. Right? So let's go here and type swap icon. So to type the word swap. Okay. So we've got well, some interesting pictures. I know uh, that one. <laughs> stop smacking the microphone. Sorry. The people can't see if you indicate the screen. Guys, children are a bit weird like that. They are a bit thick. Sorry. All right. So got loads of cool cars don't get distracted daddy don't get distracted by motors <laughs> um, okay so Jesus. let's take this one this one is an okay one uh, so we're going to copy this image um, uh, okay and we're gonna go back here and this is our layer paste it for, for me yeah no, don't worry gigantic it's magnus gigantissimus All right, how big is this thing Oh boy. Very. Yeah, no, it's kind of too big. Doesn't allow me. Yes, it does. Okay. It's small, huge. tiny. <laughs> Which is normal. Hey, why is it all black? It's a good question. I think it's because uh, the layer didn't support alpha. No, it does. I'm not sure. That's weird. It, the new GIMP is giving me quite a lot of grief. <laughs> Everything is more difficult. I'm not sure how they did it. <laughs> Let me try one more time. It used to be so easy. And now it's like, no, we're going to make the world hard. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, okay. I have no idea. It's not working. So... Will you research it? Huh? Will you research it? No, I don't want to. Uh, not in front of the people who are watching. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. So let's see if we can uh, open the image. Okay. PNG. So this is a minuscule file. So let's go to save image as. And we're going to put all oh, QR codes. And we are going to put it where we are right now. Oh, I rem just noticed that our silly... Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox is still updating. So let's go to assets, textures. I'm going to put it right here. And sure, 2000 pixels, so it's, it's huge. Right? Now let's see how big this thing is. Textures. It's an SVG. That's the issue. It's a different type of file. I thought it would be. Um, maybe GIMP doesn't like these files. Uh, so, my bad. Let's see if we can change with the tools. Face, clip art, animated line drawing. You can't. Color, transparent. 
there so it only gets us pngs but i guess there are svgs as well okay so swap um this one is that this good i don't know what type of what type of image is it so it wasn't gimp's fault here i apologize mr gimp oh hey. actually was it hey. is this another svg okay i'm gonna shoot myself now how, how am i this unlucky that this type of stuff is happening save him jazz PNG. Okay, you're a PNG. Awesome. But then it is Gimps's fault. Maybe. Gimps's. <laughs> Gimps's is, is. Okay, so make Mitch. it larger. What's going on? I don't know. Okay, when you resize it. Oh, dude. Okay, the new Gimp is seriously giving me pain now. I don't know why. And Can you use the old Gimp no. still? Yeah, I think so. I'm actually tempted. I think I'm going to download the previous one because it's becoming ridiculous. I can't tell where the icons are. I can't tell stuff. It's really bloody annoying. And the new Gaussian blur also sucks. <laughs> so I think I'm I think I'm going to go to the previous one. Obviously can't do it now. We'll do it next time. Um assuming you can. I think you can. I hope you can. I'll find it. Uh so, right. So, okay, let's do it the other way again. Save image as in the same place. Sure, I don't care about your name. And now that I have it here, I should be able to double click it's an SVG again. Okay, seriously. What? I have no idea what's happening. I don't know. Is it maybe a Google protection thing? Um, let's go to visit. Original file, SVG file. Okay. Somehow we're only getting these things. Now I feel really embarrassed because this is the first time ever I actually have problems with this. So I'm going to change to the reuse with modification to non-commercial reuse with modification as I expected there's absolutely no difference uh, okay let's see if we can just swap see what happens okay okay let's SVG again okay this is really weird I'm gonna remove no not filtered by license can I get a PNG please I have no idea. Is this a PNG? Obviously, why would it tell you, right? Information you actually need to know. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, finally. Yeah, but it's still, wait, it's still importing black stuff as that. Do you want to bet this is an SVG as well? It's possible that it's a, it's a thing that Chrome does. PNG. No, saving it as a PNG. All right. All right. So save. And now if we go over here. And we open it. Okay. It is a PNG. It's a PNG. Awesome. So why in the bloody world are you not opening it? Because it's alpha. Him? That looks like alpha. No, but that the... doesn't matter. Uh, it's it's a Unity problem now. File, edit. Uh, I think it's on the file. Where are the preferences? Where in the world are they? Duplicate, frame selected, log block, preferences. Thank you. External tools. GIMP 2.8. That's why it doesn't like it. It can't find it. Uh, so it's going to be in C. Program files 86. Let's try this. GIMP, nope. Try the other one. Program files, GIMP 2. Bin 2.10. That's the one. Okay, and now it's going to work. There. Hooray. See, now it's happy. <laughs> like, it took us about a day to do this, but uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I, but I, it's two now. Yeah, no, I know, it's fine. It's a separate file. I mean, I'm just desperately trying to do anything to make this annoying thing actually work. Uh, right? I know I'm using stuff I don't have the rights to. It's fine. If anybody complains, we'll change them. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's make this one smaller. Uh, okay, weird ratio. Uh, so we're gonna make it 128 by 128. Uh, probably, sure, it's fine. And now what we're gonna do is hit Control X to cut. Control V to paste. Try again, try again. My jeebs, undo. Okay, let me try. Control C, 
Control V. All right, that works. I'm sorry, I must have not pressed Control C. I uh, yeah, I have no idea what's happening, but like literally everything is conspiring now. All right, so we got this silly thing over here. Another thing, Gimp seems to have just forgotten that I used to have this connected. Oh, probably because of the other instance we don't. Okay, so let's rotate this. Remember, it gets really blurry when it rotates. Yeah, it gets really horrible. Okay. So I'm going to add another layer. Now we're going to have to do another one of these annoying things. So go to car icon again. Okay. Bunch of car so icons. I'm just going to find a generic car. Or this one. Probably somebody complained that we're stealing. Okay, so again, save image as. I'm ha I have to do it this way. It's certainly I don't like it, but there you go. Car high, open it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now we're going to scale it to something tiny like this. It's I'm gonna try to do it on my own. <laughs> yeah, wait a moment. Uh, copy paste okay uh, rescale are you gonna put it in a different layer it's right here I need to make it even smaller yeah anyway I don't want to waste ages doing the art for stuff right it this isn't the point right it's not important uh, copy it again, paste it, cut, paste. Come okay, on. so what we're going to do now is we are going to merge this down so we get the arrows and the cars all at the same time. So this mm -hmm. will be one of the icons. And one thing we should do is I think we should move this border further down. Uh, so cut paste so let's move it to about here yeah that's pretty good now this is gonna sound weird but you trust 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 me copy Did you paste. Just, just, just. yeah I get stuck sometimes I'm not <laughs> sure what it is but it's weird okay maybe you're getting old I'm getting old okay copy paste no is I said copy is? Zoe come Sorry. on get on with the plan copy paste it Alright, Gimp is giving me enough grief, you don't need to do it too. Uh, Alright, so now uh, copy this, paste it, hold control. Okay, copy this, paste it, hold control. Okay, release. Now let me zoom in. So down here we'll go the description of the card. We'll put it here. Uh, there. All right. So now we're gonna uh, actually type text in here. Ah, uh, no, we said that we don't want to, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that matters to us is the icon. Heck, at that point we could put that as a quad and put it on top. Anyway, let's leave it here for now. Yeah, I think that will make the most sense. We should probably make separate icons and put them on quads. I think that will make a lot of sense. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, okay, we'll worry about that in a minute. So for now, we'll just hide this and hit control. Actually, before we do control E, copy all of this. Paste in the wrong, wrong layer, my bad. Copy it now, paste it. Okay, hit control E to export. Save. Um, I actually don't. Don't save. Yeah, we can't. All right. So here we go. Now you'll notice again we're upside down, and the reason why we are upside down is because of the UVs. So now Usually we're gonna pick up the UVs at the top. These and hit A to select all, and go R to rotate. A hundred and eight. Save. Wasn't it? Oh yeah. That was to for, for to mirror it. This this is to I mean rotation is just fine here. Okay, 
so there we go so we have um a part for the title of the card mm -hmm. and a part for um for the description and a part for the icon now i can see here fairly well let's see yes we were able to see i think it's not great that it's this small but it'll do okay so let's create a new uh, actually let's duplicate in the ui duplicate the score as usual drag it into the card don't drag the instructions Cancel. drag it into the card okay and rename this one to title Total. Total. okay now we're going to make it a lot smaller reset the transform there it is okay now we're gonna move it a bit up it's flipped i know i'm just worrying about the z for now okay so 0 0.05 should do uh now rotation on the z axis 180 and uh, rotation on the y axis 180 and there we go now text in these assets renders front and back so we need to make the width a lot smaller okay so it looks to me like the gizmos are not showing us what is selected but it does okay so for some reason i'm not seeing the width correctly ah because okay. it was so massive i couldn't see it fair enough so one okay one is good and now the height reduce 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 reduce, 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 reduce. there we go all right that's about not, right yeah. so 0 0.25 okay now we're gonna drag it up so you see it's complaining just don't worry about it we'll do some fixing now so minus 0 0.85 okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to say minimum font size and we're going to decrease it decrease it decrease it decrease it to what one or something two let's put it on two maximum three probably we can't say 2.5 or something and now what we're going to do wait a moment so it doesn't seem to want to go smaller yeah that's because of our height so 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.15 okay that looks correct and here the minimum is 2 so it's put in as 2 minimum is 1 there we go okay like that now we're trying to fit it more or less correctly right so i'm gonna put it here even though it's not perfect it's not a big deal type the word type the word swap swap all right let's do the font black it looks kind of ugly does it from the scene uh, it looks like they're connecting there that looks better yeah, well let's see if it's visible banana no <laughs> Uh, so the the issue that we've got here is that we've allocated space to the card fairly poorly that's my fault so what we're gonna do instead is I'll tell you what I don't want to waste any more time doing this so I'm gonna we're gonna make a pretty radical change now we're gonna go right here we're gonna select all of these boxes that I that we've put and we're gonna delete them hit ah. control E to export okay so now this is going to look like an open empty space so it's not great but it'll do and what we're going to do now is we're going to give ourselves more room and we are going to then be able to put a nice fatter word swap yeah swap and, and we can still put it white yeah I, I i also don't like the black thing we would need to create a new material in order to change that so many uh, materials let's see if we can do a color that that doesn't exist yet I hate everything <laughs> <laughs> so do I everything looks bad um, if we make any of these bigger it's going to want a new a new uh, material so let's see if we can change another one okay I don't think we've used outline before so if we use this one we can actually go and modify it yes there I think this is way better uh, let's see how it looks like yeah kind of still readable. still very tiny right so let's make it larger larger and larger and larger okay so maximum three maximum five there we go 
<laughs> so can we see it? Yes, we can. Yes. Now I think it's a little bit too high from the card, and that's why you can see yeah, it's detached. You see? So we need to drag it down. Okay, too much. As soon as it appears, I'm done. Pop, okay. It appeared. So let's see 0 0.02. Okay. Minus 0 0.7. And zero. Make it big. Okay, no, see, zero point zero two is that fighting, so we're gonna go to zero point zero two two. <laughs> Tiny. All right, that's good. Let's see again how it looks like in game. All right, I think this one is pretty decent. Yes. Now I can swap, and we are just uh, we're just gonna leave it like this for now, right? We would need to make art for every single card. We're not gonna do that, right? Now when we swap. It's going to introduce loads of mechanics, right? We're going to have to choose somebody to swap with, mm -hmm. right? And it's going to be quite a lot of work. So for today, we are almost running out of time, right? So we don't really have the time to do that. Um, I'm tempted to stop. What I think we'll do is we'll stop. Yeah, we'll stop for today. The one thing that we will still do is we'll simply move this swap thing here. Right, okay. say here in the middle or something, or maybe at the bottom. There we go. How does that look like? Sure, I think this is pretty good. So we need to be mindful of the words we can fit in here, right? We can't fit many, so whatever words we're gonna pick, it's going to be complex. All right, and what we're gonna do now is we are gonna uh, create a prefab out of this card. Okay, so title, that's good. And um, what we are going to do now is go to our prefabs over here. Drag mm -hmm. the card into it, Boop. and now we can delete the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tabletop gear, we should probably change our mind and go to a simple white. Yeah, that's how our cards look like. And then the pepper is more visible. The pepper is back to being a pepper. We should probably do some work on it. It really looks disgusting. Um, and the card, let's give the card a white material too. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. All card come in. It looks kind of. Why weird. did you end it up down there? Why, you evil card? Oh man. Where are you? Okay, just reset. It'll be quicker. Take me edges of the mess. There you go. Boom. There you it is. You pulled the pepper out. Rotation 90 degrees, 180, and now we can. Uh, I think it's no X swap. Okay, so that's not looking too bad, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the prefab, we've got that, and uh, I suppose what we can start doing. Ah, tell you what, on our deck, let's add. So let's try and do just a, a few things so we get ourselves ahead of the game for next time, right? So let's create an empty and call this one spawn point. Yeah, hit enter. Okay, and now we're gonna simply drag it up here. So when we spawn a card, we're gonna spawn it right here at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the height? 0 0.4. All right, that sounds good. So let's put it right there and leave it there. And now let's create duplicate spawn point. Rename this one to landing, landing point. Okay, and this is where the card will fall after you've uh, um, after you've picked it, and we're gonna say right here at zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, at two point five distance. There we go. So a card will appear right here in this point. Right, if we were to spawn a card inside the landing point, right, it already has a certain position there. That's how we would appear. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I smacked the microphone again, okay. but we, 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 didn't we say we'd start here? Yes, we'll start here and then flip. So, uh, we'll, we'll, make, a, here? we'll make an eye enumerator for the card itself. Oh, yeah. good. And we were talking about possibly having a certain inventory, like having at least one card stored in the inventory. So we're going to put this one here and then have an inventory slot over there. So duplicate landing point, call this one inventory point. Two, 
Yeah, hit enter, okay. And now for the inventory point, we'll put it over here, right? So um, zero, this one is 3.2 or something. And if that one's 3.2, this one should be 1.6. Yeah. There we go, the Unity bugs where it gives you 1.000001. Okay, so that's how we would look like, right? So you get a card and then in your turn you can decide whether to play it right away or whether to store it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if you play it right away, uh, whatever effect happens, if you store it, it's there and you can only store one. So if you then decide to store the other card, you can't... Um, e your previous one gets discarded. Mm -hmm. We should probably make it so that if your cards get discarded you lose some points or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure mm -hmm. it out. Okay, good. So yeah, not much work today. Sorry guys, there was a lot of art to do and everything. So we did do some basics. And uh, yeah, next time we're gonna start working on the logic of all of these cards. It's gonna be a pretty big endeavor. It's, it's a lot of stuff to do. Well, uh, save please here. Thanks very much for watching guys. And we will see you again next, next time. Next time in episode 17. Right. Okay, bye-bye. See ya.